Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about the photos that was just released for Episode 4 of Season 8, aka Armageddon Part 4. These photos are crazy. Now, everyone on the internet has been freaking out over the past, like, I don't know, 12 hours since these came out. I talked about it briefly last night on Eric's After Party. However, we need to go into this in one proper full video because there is so many photos that definitely get the mind thinking. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So, the first photo is this. Now, this is the crazy thing. This is Barry in the reverse Flash costume. However, it's no normal reverse Flash costume. In fact, it is a brand new costume that has been specially made for Grant Gustin. If you look at the comparison photo right here, you can see there is some big, big differences in terms of his costuming. Well, look at his symbol first. That is completely different. There is no red in the symbol. In fact, Barry's symbol is a bit maroony, it's a bit brown, and then in the middle of the symbol there is like a kind of a textural pattern that kind of looks like tech, I would say. I don't know how to really describe it, but the color scheme is very, very different, and the actual color of the yellow of the suit is much more saturated, is much more yellow than the kind of mix of yellowy kind of going into gray and black of the original reverse flashes costume and if you go to this photo and again it's the same photo but you can kind of see you know the whole thing you can tell that pretty much most of the stuff has been completely redesigned i guess this could be the future reverse flash costume that we see say tom cavanaugh in or matt letcher whenever they do return probably this could be the one that they're wearing Although there is always the opportunity that this could be his initial reverse flash costume before he actually gets this new one that we're normally used to him wearing. Now I have no idea how Barry in this case actually gets the costume but we were talking about this yesterday. I think there is a chance that maybe in his flash ring or his reverse flash ring he uses it and instead of his normal costume coming on it's in fact his reverse flash costume but yeah it's just crazy to see grant actually in the suit and if we look a little bit closer you can see the cow is pretty much the same as grant's normal cow and the earpieces are kind of that maroony brown color and the head texture is definitely different from the original reverse flash costume again like i said it's a bit more like grant's actual suit so I think it's just an alteration and like a variation on that. And the actual design of the costume, like you can see the shoulder pads, they're kind of similar, although they're much more cut up and, you know, it's a bit more angular than the original Reverse Flash one because the original one is pretty much very simple and it plays into that idea of that crossfade of colors. But here it's just like pure yellow and I think it looks really good. And if we go down on the costume, if we go to the belt, you can see that his belt is completely different. It is just like a normal belt, and it's that same color as his emblem, but on the original Reverse Flash costume, he had a kind of gray belt, and he had like two red lightning bolts on it, so it's quite different, and I really do like that they've kind of gone bold with this, and they've created a brand new suit just to fit Grant, so this gives us the idea that maybe, are they gonna use it again? Because it's a lot of money to make these suits, so it's not just normally a one-off, However, maybe we'll see it for like two episodes in a row, so part four and part five of Armageddon. Let's move on to the next photo. This is where it gets really interesting. We have a photo of Grant in the reverse flash costume, Barry's reverse flash costume, and he's here with Damien Dark. Now, why would these two be together? Well, there's always the opportunity that Damien Dark knows about Reverse Flash's plans and what he's done to the timeline by tapping into the negative still force and everything. Because you have to remember they are acquaintances from the past, or is it from the past? We don't know which version of Reverse Flash this is, and we also don't know what version of Thorn this is. I'm obviously talking about like where from their specific time periods are they from. So it seems something goes down in this place. Again, I think this is probably Damien Dark's house or lair, I guess you could call it. But Grant is here and he's in the costume, in his reverse flash costume, and he actually holds the tachyon device. Now, one of the reasons why maybe he suits up in the suit despite his better instincts of never getting in like a reverse flash suit is probably maybe somehow it gives him a boost because you remember last episode Jefferson aka Black Lightning was draining Barry's powers 
because he tried to enact the injustice protocol and it's pretty clear that with reverse flash being in control of everything and basically winning he's definitely more powerful than barry right now because barry's powers have been drained as i previously said so this is why he needs the tachyon device but where does he get the tachyon device from? Is it from Damien Dark? Could that be the reason that he goes to him for help? Well, it seems someone isn't very happy with that because it looks like someone's coming into the room because both of them are kind of on their toes, it looks like. And that person probably is Reverse Slash, suited up in his brand new costume, which you can see right here. This is my favorite photo. When I saw this, I was completely shocked. It's just so great. I think it's perfect. You can see Grant, obviously playing Barry, but as Reverse Flash, and you have Tom as Reverse Flash, but playing the Flash. So with Thorne's manipulations, he's completely changed the timeline, and they've switched places. He has successfully done everything that he intended to do originally. He's literally took Barry's entire life, he took his wife, he's took his friends, and now he's taken his costume, and I think they repurposed the Flash suit, for Tom because it looks like it fits really well. It isn't like when they did Stephen and Mel in the costume and it was clearly just Grant's costume, but it didn't slightly fit properly. But this definitely looks like it fits and it looks great, especially with the background here. I think, you know, just seeing these two standing off and Grant's expression pretty much says everything because like Reverse Flash is smirking, he knows he's one and he's there in the Flash costume as he's always aspired to be. So it seems like they're in the middle of a battle and it does look like this is the same place that we ended last episode on. And so maybe suddenly they both suit up and that links into my flash ring theory because where would Barry go to get this costume if he didn't know where he was in the first place? I guess he could always run to Star Labs but you would presume that would be the base of this new version of the flash. But let's move on to the next photo. This is Damien Dark, he is in his lair that we saw before, he's just sitting here lounging, probably talking to Barry. Then we go back to that same place where we ended last episode, this shot was in the trailer, this is just a photo, and you have Ryan Choi and Cecile here. As Ryan Choi goes out and you can see his watch, he's pulling it out to try and suit up into his atom suit, it looks like. And then here is just like the money shot as well, this is of Tom in his Flash costume. And again, looks really, really great. But it's just the fact that everyone is behind him. Like you got Allegra, Batwoman fully suited up, Chester in the background, Ryan Choi and Cecile. They're all just like idly standing by as Reverse Flash basically is an imposter as Barry. So yeah, it's just crazy to see this actually happening. Like it's very surreal, I would say. But they definitely have the showdown here. And even Iris is pointing a gun at Barry, as you can see in this photo. And joining all of them, we have Alex, who has quickly suited up and put on, you know, her makeup as Sentinel. As Barry tries to figure out what the hell is going on, because you can tell he's just standing off frame. And he's like, why are all my friends and my family, like, just idly sitting by as Thorn pretends to be me? And he'll realize, yes, Thorn has changed everything. He's won, and he's literally taken everything that Barry cares about. And so let's move on to the next photo. I don't know at what point this is, and I don't know what versions of the characters this is, but we have Iris and Batwoman, aka Ryan Wilder. And so they're sitting here on the couch, and they are just talking, and potentially this is in the future. Could they be talking to each other to kind of knock themselves into some sense as to, like, is this really the reality that we're supposed to be in? I guess there's always the opportunity that they realize these future characters do. However, this could be in the present day, and that would make a little bit more sense because it seems like they are fully in allegiance with Reverse Flash. This looks kind of like a concluding scene for an episode and how it would normally go. So the next photo, we have them two hugging. It seems like they're kind of building some sort of friendship. There's a couple of photos. Here's Iris, and there's another photo of Ryan Wilder as well. So looking forward to this scene, but specifically looking forward to all the reverse flash Barry scenes and the Eobard Thorn flash scenes, because either they've completely just swapped in the case that everyone else surrounding them thinks and perceives Thorn as the flash and as a good person, and then sees Barry as Reverse Flash and as a villain, 
I'm pretty sure that is exactly what's going on here, but let me know if you have any theories down in the comments below. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.